I would like to discuss about proton therapy in breast cancer. Breast cancer is the most common cancer amongst women, not just in the developed world, but also in parts of the developing world, including India. Radiation therapy forms a very integral part of the treatment of breast cancer. Almost all patients who undergo breast conserving surgery, in which only the lump is removed, require to undergo radiotherapy. In addition, in patients in whom the whole breast has been removed, that is where a mastectomy has been done, there too there is a role of radiation therapy in patients who exhibit some high risk features. The role of this radiotherapy is to decrease the re recurrence of the disease locally as well as regionally, that is in the breast as well as in the lymph node bearing areas. And this in turn leads to better odds of living longer. So that is very interesting that local radiotherapy actually improves the overall survival of patients. With the improvements that have taken place in the treatment of breast cancer, patients are living long and fruitful lives and it has therefore become imperative to pay attention to survivorship issues. And what are these survivorship issues? Survivorship issues are problems that arise amongst survivors due to cancer and its treatment. Radiotherapy too increases the risk of developing a heart problem. These heart problems may range again from ischemic heart disease to myocarditis, congestive failure, valvular heart disease as well as arrhythmias. A correlation of cardiac morbidity with the mean dose received by the heart has been established by Sarah Darby et al as a 7.4% increase in the risk of developing a major coronary event per 1 gray increase in the mean dose to the heart. This risk is the highest in the first 5 years at 16.5% per 1 gray and also higher with age and comorbidities. In this study that was published in 2013, diabetes, obesity, smoking, chronic pulmonary obstructive disease or the history of regular analgesic usage led to a near doubling of risk of developing a cardiac problem in the first decade after treatment. While previous ischemic heart disease increased the risk more than six times. It is important to note that very few patients in the population studied by Darby et al. had received anthracyclines and trastuzumab, the two drugs with the highest odds of cardiac morbidity. And therefore, there is a possibility that the odds of developing a cardiac disease may be even higher. There are a number of strategies that we employ to reduce the dose to the heart. And one of the existing strategies is treatment during deep inspiratory breath hold. However, the maximum reduction in the dose received by the heart is actually in proton therapy. For that, we have to understand what are protons. X-rays deposit their energy as they pass through the body along their entire course. In comparison, protons are positively charged particles that deposit most of their energy at a pre-specified depth. That varies with the energy that the proton particle is carrying. And most importantly, there is no deposition of energy distal to the target. This is the Proteus Plus machine at the Apollo Proton Cancer Center. This Proteus Plus machine is equipped with image guidance. That is, it allows us to take a scan of the patient prior to every session of radiation to ensure accurate delivery of proton therapy. The latest technology in proton therapy is the pencil beam scanning technique in which the proton energy is deposited in spots layer by layer. This allows us better control uh, of matching the dose to the volume that has to be treated and at, at the Apollo Proton Cancer Center, we use the pencil beam scanning technology to treat our patients. In breast cancer, when proton therapy is delivered using on fast beams, that is beams that are directly facing the breast, only negligible radiation travels beyond the rib cage. The relevance of this becomes clear when we see this 3D representation of the breast in light pink, internal mammary chain in dark pink, and its relation to the heart, which is in green. Proton therapy reduces the mean dose to the heart to one gray or less, in left-sided breast cancer patients 
and even less for right-sided breast cancer patients. Besides the reduction in dose to the heart, there is a significant reduction in the dose delivered to the left anterior descending artery in left-sided breast cancer patients. The left anterior descending artery is actually the main artery that supplies the left chambers of the heart. The same reduction is noted in right-sided breast cancer patients in relation to the right coronary artery which supplies the right side, the right ventricle. And this is especially marked when we look at patients who require treatment of the right-sided internal mammary lymph node groups. The significant reduction in dose to the heart and cardiac structures when using proton beam therapy has been documented in a number of dosimetric and clinical studies, including a recent phase two study by Jimenez et al. in which the local five-year failure the five-year local failure rate in 70 patients was 1.5%, with a median heart dose being less than half a gray, which is really a very good result, both in terms of controlling uh, the disease locally, as well as in reducing the dose to the heart. Proton therapy also results in a reduction in the risk of second cancer by reducing the integral dose that is being received by the body, which means the dose that is falling in the normal structures. This dose is related to the risk of developing second cancers and when we reduce this dose, that leads, we know from uh, the study of patients that have been uh, followed over a number of years that when we reduce the integral dose being received by the body, the risk of developing a second cancer reduces. This reduction is also seen in the dose being received by normal structures when we treat bilateral breast cancer, that is breast cancer present synchronously in both the breasts. So, a polar proton cancer center, proton therapy for breast cancer was initiated in October 2019 and we now have the Hypro B registry wherein we are prospectively recording the data for patients undergoing hypofractionated proton therapy which, as I explained, was a 15-fraction schedule wherein the radiation is delivered in a shorter schedule as compared to the earlier schedule, which was a five-week schedule. The advantage of proton therapy, something that I would like to underline again. In younger women, it reduces the risk of developing a second cancer. In all patients, it reduces the risk of developing a heart problem by reducing the dose being received by the heart. The risk of developing a heart problem is the highest in patients who have comorbidities such as diabetes, obesity or are smokers or have prolonged analgesic usage and in these patients the effect, the benefit of proton therapy is magnified because we are reducing the dose to less than one grade.